Hello friends, today I am going to show you how I have prepared my system for this project and a docker installation steps on that uh, fresh operating system. So let's see. So for this system preparation, I am using a Linux Mint 20 desktop for the development and test purpose. Later on, we will also check all these development on multiple platform also then the essential software tool or software platforms i'm going to use is the docker python data for database mariadb and python gtk for GUI development with gled so these are the essential tools that i have decided to work with for this project so the docker engine uh, will play important role here so this docker engine is available on variety of platforms so we can deliver our project on multiple platform also so linux mac and windows all are the uh, important platforms we can use then the supported architecture for this docker engine is x86 64 and as well as amd is also supported so later on if we want to try on a single board computer we can try on it if you see here docker is available for multiple linux distributions and the architecture in both the form debian and rpm so uh, it is available for centos debian fedora raspbian and ubuntu platform so even you can choose its derivative uh, platforms for the development so we will use a ubuntu based platform for the development as well as testing so i am using the operating system linux mint 20 so i have prepared a desktop linux mint 20 so you can see the uh, software as well as hardware details related to this system this system has 12 gb of ram and 500 GB of hard disk. Now let's move towards the Docker installation on our Linux Mint operating system, but it had some prerequisites. So your operating system must be a fresh installation or if you have any existing Docker installation, so you have to uninstall it first. So our operating system is fresh. So we will follow with the installation. So let's move towards the terminal. I have kept all the installation commands in a single file so that I can easily copy and paste all the commands so it will save our time for the installation. So let's start. Now let's execute all the commands one by one. So first if we have any docker installation previously let's uninstall it. So we do not have any docker engine installed on our existing setup. Then let's update the system for the latest repository. Next install some required packages using this command. So we have all these packages already installed. Next step is fetch the gpg key for this docker. So it is fetched. Next is add the repository for our latest stable version for the Ubuntu based system that is Linux Mint. So if you observe here the command is used to fetch the name which we have for our system so the code name is uliana so copy this entire command and execute on terminal if you see here it is giving error for this code name so we have to replace this code name with ubuntu's actual code name to solve that error use 
the similar command but with the change of code name so here code name is focal for ubuntu 20 so execute this command now so if you see again it is saying connection refused but now you can try a command update so it must update our docker repository for the installation purpose here the reading of package list is done successfully and if you see ubuntu focal for our docker is also get updated next step is execute docker installation command so say yes to continue the docker installation now let's wait for the installation now the docker c installation steps are completed successfully now let's check it after this successful installation let's verify docker status so it is active and running so we can execute a docker command So this docker ps simply list our running containers from this ps command. So docker is successfully installed. If we execute this version command for the docker, we will know that the docker engine installed is community addition and the version is 19.3.13. So we are using this version for our development. If you see carefully during this installation we faced one small problem with code name as our distribution is changed uh, the name of this operating system is linux mint and generally docker supports ubuntu based operating system so the code name used is a official ubuntu name so in short the purpose of our this project is to solve such kinds of problem which takes lots of time during preparation of your linux system for either use or a development this is all for the today stay tuned for the next videos and updates related to this project so thank you